right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in for this week's practice, uh, short jazz piano practice idea. Uh, what we're going to be working on this week is a flashy uh, diminished or dominant run. And so what the run is here, and uh, I just played all the things you are, played the last little bit. And I got to this B diminished. And what I did was I played this shape. A flat, B flat, and then B, D, E, G. This kind of fits the B diminished scale. This shape, the B diminished scale is this. Okay? And so this hand position here, I'm taking the C sharp and the F out, and as I roll up the piano, I'm just playing these this set of two black notes with my left hand. And then the right hand's playing what looks like a G6, and I arpeggiate that of the piano. Gets you a really classic, fast, chopped out sound uh, that works really good on this, in this case, a B a diminished chord, but also on a B flat seven, right? Or a D flat seven, okay? And so you can use this to kind of uh, add a little uh, flair, like show off a little bit um, in some of your arrangements. Now, I'm not gonna worry about learning this lick in 12 keys but I am gonna learn it in one position for each diminished scale, and then I will use the corresponding diminished scale shape every time it's possible. So like, I'm not gonna to learn to play this lick in this position to play it on, you know, uh, or this position here, let's see, what am I doing? I'm not gonna learn it in this position here to play on an A diminished chord. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna learn this in the three positions, one for each diminished scale here, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do to break it down is I'm going to look for the spot where there's two black notes that are a whole step apart from each other. So in the B diminished scale, that's here, and then I put a, uh, basically what looks like a six chord on top of that. Well, if I wanted to do it here for this diminished scale, okay, there's my shape right there. And so I might use that for D7 or F7 or F sharp diminished. Right? And if I was trying to play this on a C7 flat nine, okay, well, here's my diminished scale. There's my two black notes there. And then I put the C6, what looks like a C6 on top of that, okay? So this is the Pareto principle in action. We're just gonna learn those three shapes and we're gonna use them all over the place as opposed to worry about using the, uh, learning this lick in 12 keys. And that's because we're trying to keep it simple. We're trying to keep our left hand playing black notes so that we can see easy and we can just rip this little run straight over the piano, right? So anyways, that's this week's, this week's practice idea and uh, I hope that you love this lick because I recently learned this and it's like, totally blown my mind and uh, I love playing this little thing and I've heard people play this throughout the years and now I know what it is. You can pedal, pedal on and drop a bomb down low and then play this and it sounds like you're holding with one hand and you're playing a really burning lick in the right hand like this. Now if somebody can get it like that super fast, more power to you. All right, happy practicing everybody.